Just a monopod, actually one of my favorite tools. Also comes in handy as a weapon if you have kind of aggressive talent, but forget I said that. You know, having the right tools is uh, super important. When you're telling a story visually, whether it's a documentary or something that's scripted or reality or whatever it may be, everything that you use, cameras, tripods, lights, everything has to be in the service of the story. So if you want the camera to be really jerky, then Get yourself a really crummy tripod and you'll be just fine. But if you want to be able to not be confined by inferior equipment, to be able to do smooth moves and to be able to do nice pans and tilts and whatever it may be, then it's really worth spending the time and money to make sure that you get the right tool for the job. And I'm all about that. In my 30 plus years in this business, I have used so many different types of equipment, so many different brands and manufacturers. Um, I have probably made just about every mistake you can possibly make. I've been the crash test dummy for a number of companies who give me their prototype or pre-production cameras, tripods, whatever, and see how they work, see how they do. And um, it's kind of been an interesting ride. But because of that, I'm kind of your consumer reports guy. You don't have to go out and do as much research as you might normally have to do because I've done a lot of it for you. And today we're going to be looking at some tripods from Benro. Uh, Benro is a company that I've just been very impressed by their equipment uh, for the features, but also for the price. And I know I kind of sound like a salesman there, and I'm not. I just really like this stuff. Now let me give you an example of a few things they've got here that, that I like. And these are for lighter cameras, by the way. We have some heavier capacity tripods. We'll be talking about those too. But these are lighter capacity tripods. One thing that's important to keep in mind when you're looking at these tripods on Benro's website or a dealer's website or whatever, because they have a lot of tripods and they have a lot of legs and stuff, and you can get them in any kind of combination you want, is the number at the end of each one. For example, this is a BV4 and this is a BV6 and this is an F7, you know, and a lot of stuff to keep in mind. But what you need to remember is that four or that six or that seven, those refer to kilograms of how much capacity, how, how heavy a camera you can put on these things. And to uh, compute that into English, or at least American English, you multiply that number by 2.2. So for example, a BV4 will hold about 10 pounds. The BV6 is going to hold around 14 pounds. The S7 down here is going to hold around 16 pounds. So just take that last number, double it, add a little bit more, and you'll know whether or not the, if your camera is rated for this. And you know, I'm sure they don't want me saying this necessarily, but I have found that almost all these tripods will hold more than what they're rated for. They may not perform in the way that you want them to, but they'll definitely hold more than that. And while we're on that note, I like a little bit heavier head than a lighter head, particularly if I'm working with small cameras. You know, when you've got something really light and small, it's like a feather. And if you put it on a very, very lightweight tripod, you know, your heartbeat will affect it. You know, your breathing certainly will. So I kind of vote for getting something a little heavier and beefier than it's rated for if you're using a very lightweight camera. I think you'll find that you'll get better performance out of those. And the same goes for the monopods. Um, I really like Menro's monopods. I, I use these a lot. I use them, I use these heads on cameras that are actually way too heavy for them. Um, you know, you don't want to walk around with one of these in your hand like this with your camera hanging off, especially if it's heavy, because yeah, it may go flying. But um, I have really gotten accustomed to using these to take that weight off my shoulder. And even if you're using a light camera, how often do you want to, how long do you want to hold this out in front of you all day long? With a monopod, it makes a huge difference. You can do that all day. All of these tripods have a lot of really higher end features like the lighted ball levels, which is pretty unusual for camera uh, for tripods in this price range. Um, all of the BV tr uh, tripods have stepped counterbalance, stepped tilt, and stepped drag control. That's hard to say. Try saying that five times, which means 
instead of just variably adjusting the tilt or pan friction or the counterbalance to accommodate different weights of cameras, there actually is a dial that you turn and you can set it for whatever you want and it stays there. Same with the pan and um, tilt friction controls on here, which can be really handy. Some people like variable, some people like stepped, and you have choices here. <laughs>
D-Day invasion force rolling in their front front room. So you just don't have the space sometimes for even for a big soccer tripod. And I've found them be really handy just to set up, put a camera on, and you can still do. I can still do nice little moves on them, and 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 just you know, I'm, we're getting older. At least I am. I don't know about you, but it's uh, it's easier to. You know, I can pick one of these things up and carry it around all day, and not have to worry about another eight pounds on top of that. And it's just really easy to. If I'm just going to do shooting and move, shoot and move, grabbing shots, which again in my world, the prices of a lot of gear have come down, but the rates haven't gone up. People I find come to me with a a one day budget, but it's really a two day shoot. So I know I'm going to be shooting and moving, shooting and moving. So this kind of stuff that, that you can make it smaller, lighter and close to just as good in my mind. And maybe it's better in some because it's newer stuff, and newer technology and newer materials. What a bonus. Great deal. There's a lot of good brands out there. This stuff is, is, is one of them and they're really coming on strong. I'm, I really, I appreciate you sending me the stuff and and having me have a chance to look at it because it really was like, wow, I had no idea. You know, it's, it's great stuff. I think so too. And I, I guess the, uh, the kind of bottom line takeaway from Jerry and from me is that this is worth taking a look at. So go get your hands on some and check it out.